Imagine someone in a Swiss lab just casually discovering the blueprint of life, and almost no one notices at first. In the 19th century no one had any idea about gene tests, forensics, or ancestry research from spit samples, while in Basel, a young doctor named Friedrich Miescher was staring fascinated at something totally unexciting, used bandages full of pus cells. He was working in Tübingen back then, later at the University of Basel, and he was actually looking for proteins. Instead, he found a strange, phosphorus-rich substance in cell nuclei, thick, plain, and he named it nuclein. And here's the part many people don't know. Miescher had isolated DNA all the way back in 1869, almost 80 years before others realized that this exact stuff carried our genetic information. Because his discovery didn't fit into the world's understanding right away, it gathered dust in textbooks, while Switzerland kept on researching, from molecular biology in Zurich, to modern genetics in Basel. Today, labs here build on that very foundation. When genetic diseases are unraveled in Swiss hospitals or personalized medicine is researched, a bit of Miescher's unassuming nuclein is always there in the background, and with it, a very Swiss origin story of DNA.